Imagine a world where genetic perfection is the standard and imperfection is deemed unacceptable. Welcome to the twisted reality of eugenics, a hauntingly alluring concept that promises a utopian future at the cost of humanity's dignity and diversity. Eugenics is a term that has been thrown around for decades, evoking both fascination and disgust among those who hear it. At its core, Eugenics is the belief in improving the human gene pool by selectively breeding or sterilizing individuals deemed undesirable. The history of eugenics can be traced back to the mid-19th century, with the release of Charles Darwin's groundbreaking book, The Origin of Species. This work established the foundation of evolutionary biology, and many scientists sought to build upon Darwin's ideas. Among them was Francis Galton, Darwin's cousin, who combined the theory of evolution with the concept of heredity to develop his own idea. Galton was fascinated by human variation and sought to explore whether defects or attributes were hereditary and could be passed down from parent to child. His work culminated in the publication of his book, Hereditary Genius, an inquiry into its laws and consequences. Galton's research led him to develop the concept of eugenics, which was split into two parts, positive and negative eugenics, in which we will go deeper into these two parts in a brief moment. Although Galton's ideas did not initially take off in his native home in the UK, they did gain traction in other parts of the world, most notably in the United States and Germany in the early 20th century. In the United States, Eugenics gained widespread support from scientists, politicians, and the public. Many states passed laws that allowed for the sterilization of individuals with mental illnesses, developmental disabilities, and other undesirable traits. These laws were upheld by the Supreme Court in the landmark case of Buck v. Bell in 1927. In Nazi Germany, eugenics was taken to the extreme. The Nazis believed in the superiority of the Aryan race and sought to eliminate those they considered inferior, including Jews, Romani people, homosexuals, and people with disabilities. The Nazi regime used eugenic-inspired concepts as a justification for the Holocaust, which resulted in the genocide of millions of people. Before we go deeper into the dark history of eugenics, let's go over the two parts of eugenics that were mentioned earlier, which were positive and negative eugenics. Positive eugenics is a theory that seeks to promote the reproduction of desirable traits in humans through selective breeding. It is based on the belief that the human gene pool could be improved by encouraging the most intelligent, talented, and successful people to have more children. The proponents of positive eugenics believe that it was possible to breed a superior race of humans and Galton believed that this would lead to an improvement in the overall quality of humanity. On the contrary, negative eugenics is the belief and practice of discouraging people with certain traits, usually deemed undesirable from having children. This theory, which emerged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, was grounded in the idea that some people were biologically inferior and that their traits should be eliminated from the gene pool. Negative eugenics ultimately led to coercive and involuntary sterilization programs, discriminatory immigration policies, and in some cases, genocide. Proponents of negative eugenics believe that certain traits such as mental illness, physical disabilities, criminality, and poverty were inherited and that these traits were detrimental to the gene pool. They believe that by preventing people with these traits from having children, they could prevent these traits from being passed down to future generations. Now let's move on to the dark and tragic history of eugenics. In the early 20th century, eugenics gained popularity in many countries. However, while the concept's goal was to create a healthier, more perfect human race, it was based on flawed, pseudo-scientific theories that advocated for the suppression of undesirable traits. In Nazi Germany, eugenics became a central part of the government's policies, 
with the goal of creating a pure Aryan race. The Nazis believed that the German people were superior to all other races and that the Aryan race was the pinnacle of human evolution. The Nazis implemented a number of policies to promote eugenics, including forced sterilization, euthanasia programs, and mass murder. The regime's goal was to create a racially pure society, and they believed that the extermination of undesirables was necessary for this goal to be achieved. The involuntary euthanasia program, known as Akshinti 4, was established to kill people with disabilities, mental illnesses, and other conditions considered life unworthy of life. More than 200,000 people were killed under this program, including children as young as six months old. The killings were carried out in gas chambers, and the victims' bodies were often used for medical research. After the end of World War II and the defeat of Nazi Germany, eugenics lost its popularity and was widely discredited. The atrocities committed by the Nazis during the Holocaust and their policies of forced sterilization and euthanasia programs revealed the dark side of eugenics and the dangers of using it as a basis for social policies. Today, eugenics is considered a discredited and unethical field of study. Its racist and discriminatory policies, as well as its violation of human rights, have made it a taboo topic. However, the history of eugenics serves as a reminder of the dangers of using pseudo-scientific theories to justify discriminatory policies and exclude individuals from society. It highlights the importance of promoting diversity and inclusion and upholding human rights for all individuals. In conclusion, eugenics is a controversial and complex topic that has had a significant impact on society in the past and continues to influence discussions around genetics and human reproduction today. While some proponents of eugenics may argue that it is a way to improve the genetic health of humanity, the history of the eugenics movement has shown that it is often tied to racism, ableism, and other forms of discrimination. The legacy of eugenics serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of upholding human dignity and protecting the rights of all individuals, regardless of their genetic makeup.